So I am outside the Huama restaurant. It's a traditional Namibian restaurant inspired by the Oshuambo culture. So I'm here with my family. We're about to go eat some traditional Namibian food for my Oshuambo culture because I'm Oshuambo speaker as well. So yeah, I look forward to enjoying the food with the family, digging in. Yeah. Before we go in the restaurant to eat, I had a wonderful lunch experience in the village of Namibia where I was for some time. If you haven't seen those videos, please go and watch them. So as a guest in the village, I was invited to one of our village neighbor's house. She prepared some really delicious organic food for us. Uh, it was so delicious. I went for so many servings. But it was definitely a great gesture. This food, uh, most of it is organic, like um, the chicken is organic, farm grown, because people here have their own farms, make our own food. And of course, before you eat, always remember to wash your hands like I'm doing here. I was so excited by the look on my face to try this awesome food. Yep, I had that wonderful chicken and ugali, fufu, pap, whatever you want to call it in your culture, uh, macaroni and salad. The food was so great. Um, and of course, we had some alcoholic and soft drinks. I don't drink alcohol, but it was available for those who drink it. Um, but it was definitely a wonderful experience. So thank you to my namesake who invited me over to our house um, for this nice lunch with my family. And also that lady, she's carrying a traditional Oshuambo alcoholic drink. Uh, I think it's Ombike. And it looks like Oshikuno, but I don't drink it. Um, I'm not really big on the Oshuambo drinks. Oshikundu, Ombike, all those things, I don't drink those. Um... I just can never get used to the taste. So I stick to my water and my soft drinks and other juices. All right, and we are back in the capital city of Namibia. We are no longer in the village. Hey, to the guy in the back. <laughs> anyway, I know you guys want to see how this restaurant looks like. So this restaurant is in the capital city of Namibia. Wintook is no longer in the village, but it's very village inspired. Just look at the decor. All those are like Oshuambo culture. I'm from the Oshuambo tribe of Namibia. It's the majority tribe in Namibia. The Oshuambo speakers are like the Yorubas in Nigeria. They're like the main um, tribe in Namibia. Not the main, the, the majority. Please let me not offend anybody. <laughs> All right, so um, this is a restaurant. There's their menu right there, and we are getting ready to order the food. Let's see how it tastes like. Um, there are some of my family members. We are washing our hands. Always wash your hands, guys, before you eat, you know. Uh, oh, look at my little son <laughs> getting his hands washed. <laughs> and that's our uh, pap, fufu, ugali. And of course, we have other food there, um, the chicken. This is organic chicken, and that's our um, mopanya worms. Those are actually worms. People eat those. I don't eat those. I'm sorry. I can never eat those. Um, and the chicken was so delicious. And I like how the food is prepared and also um, packaged. Um, the, the fufu, the pap, ugali, and the place that we are eating, the all traditional African, Namibian, Oshuambo plates. Definitely a good experience. Yeah, the food was definitely uh, delicious. The and customer service was not so we up to, to be par. Here. We waited for a long time, but that's a story for another day. Let me show you more about how this restaurant looks like. I definitely like the idea of a traditionally inspired Oshuambo restaurant in the city of Windhoek. Um, all those are traditional Oshuambo uh, plates. And I just like the decorations. Oh, and guys, if you have not seen my Wintook City videos, watch them, all right? That is a traditional Oshuambo chair for the king. If you want to feel like a king, just take a seat on that. Um, it, yeah, one of, that's one of the kings of the Oshuambo people. And they also have traditional games that you can play. And, of course, a uh, place to wash your hands as traditional. I like that. Um, and, of course, they have just the whole traditional decorations of this uh, place. I just fell in love with that. We definitely enjoyed our time in that restaurant. This is our goat that we're given for coming to the village. We are about to eat the goat, and um, that's the goat meat, and with the traditional, of course, pap, which is fufu ugali. And we're eating that in the traditional Oshomba place that you saw in the other video. When you come to the village of Namibia as a guest, they usually slaughter um, animals for you. If you're a big family, you get a cow. If you are an average size, you get a goat. And if you're a single person, you get a chicken. It was definitely a nice gesture that we appreciated. A wonderful welcome because it was very delicious. 
And um, that's another occasion we had. That's pap, and that's another traditional Shamba food called ombidi. It's like dried spinach and um, some dried meat there with gravy. So that's like what we usually eat in the village. Um, so that's a staple of food for the Oshwambo culture. And that's how it's prepared and how it's eaten traditionally. And these are the traditional wild fruits in the Oshwambo culture called Enyanji. They are very, very delicious. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And of course, don't forget to leave your comment below, like and share, all right? To all my people of African heritage, please let's embrace our Africanness. Africa is beautiful. You are beautiful. And to my non-African heritage people, you are loved. You are welcome to anytime. And of course, I love you guys. Thank you for your support and God bless.